about radio. The failure mode for this uh, fella has got to be, or can only really be, water getting into here and uh, destroying the bearing. It's, uh, it's a sealed for life unit with sealed bearings but um, I know the fact that there's a, a gap uh, between uh, the moving part and the stationary part, well, there's not a gap that I can see but if there's water there it will get in there and it can get in through that hole I mentioned before. Um, so I'm never going to break it mechanically uh, so the only th thing that can really wreck this is water so I'll go to great lengths uh, if I have to to stop that from getting in and uh, what I've decided to do I'm going to have a, a metal sheet over here um, and I'm probably going to use this sheet of lead um, there and then I've got a seal to the shaft and I've found a bit of tube that's it, it's a, a sloppy fit on there, it's a bit of copper tube and I thought well I'd like to squeeze that copper in and I thought well how can I do that and I thought well one way to squeeze it in is with uh, uh, the appropriate fitting and, uh, and an olive so um, uh, I think that um, I can squeeze that tube onto the shaft and because I know I can seal it up and put rubber glue and all sorts of stuff but if I can get a good metal to metal joint that actually truly seals it and then I can paint over the top of it and you know a water fitting is watertight so uh, I figure I, I, I can't get any better than that. I've still got this problem of the keyway so I may uh, either um, make a, a, a a lead fit, uh, piece of lead that fits in there and again can be compressed so I'll hammer it in leave it proud and then make sure that I really squeeze it in um, but I've been <laughs> all through my uh, plumbing junk fitting and uh, that's the best I can come up with so far. Um, I know I'm putting this under uh, about radio and it's uh, you know it is a radio related project and um, you know, I've been contacted by people that say they, they love to see the thought process of uh, what I'm doing. Um, so uh, anyway, um, that's, that's where I'm going in this video. So that's my uh, disc. Here's a, a tip for you. When you're cutting like that, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I never went, uh, I never closed the cutters completely. If you do, if you go snip, 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 what you wind up with is this uh, ragged edge. And it's the same if you're cutting paper or fabric or, or anything. And um, I take it for granted, but as a kid I built radio chassis, but I've employed fitters and you'll see them doing this. And you just know it's wrong because then you've got to file that off. Another wrinkle for you. Um, there you go. Uh, I need a hole in the middle of the sheet to go over there. And um, you could use a thing like this. This is a Qmax cutter, and uh, that's big enough. That's just the right size. And what you do is you you drill a hole through uh, the, the the metal, put that uh, arm bolt through, and then uh, screw that up. And uh, like a paper punch, it punches through the metal. 
but uh, remember I showed you that uh, copper tube well I'm not actually going to use that the way I planned but I've just uh, got that in the middle of there and then what I do is tap that and look at that that's made a hole I was cleaning up a bit it's got a bit of fraise on it so that'll go on there then I'll bend these ends down and um, solder that in place on there in fact I'll solder that first and use the gearbox as a jig I've cleaned up the uh, lead and I'm um, just going to tin it I don't want it in contact with the uh, metal underneath. This is a little gas torch that uh, Sophie's mom bought me. It's uh, a kitchen tool really. And uh, it's really useful. I, I use it very, very often. Um, uh, the uh, flux is uh, active flux so it, it cleans uh, as it goes along um, uh, you see I've got goggles on if I'm in shot there you don't want it spitting in your eye um, this little torch is struggling just a little bit with that lump of glass so uh, bring in a bigger one I'm sorry about that. I'll uh, I'll edit the, uh, the the smoke detector out later. I fall for it every time. Good job, Sophie. There, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit of a distraction, that, isn't it? But I didn't want to let this cool down and uh, have to start again. Um, not the prettiest bit of uh, soldering I've done. Um, but boy, is it going to be waterproof. So what I'll do is I'll wash that off um, so I don't get the acid flux everywhere. <laughs> 